Hey guys, how many of you have ever wondered what it would be like to run a minor league baseball team? Well, if that's the case, you're in luck, because that's exactly what we're going to cover next on this week's bonus session of Manly Moments. Yeah. What do you mean the Chewbacca bobbleheads aren't here yet? It's Star Wars night. Now we can't switch it with Thirsty Thursdays. I've already ordered the Stormtrooper costumes. Now, that's Bird Zerk night. Now, let's take the Diamond Dog Knight. Now, just get the job done. You got it? Good. Well, if we're lucky, we might even get to play a baseball game. Aside from, like, playing professional baseball, I can't think of a better job than running a baseball club. That's why I'm so excited today to have my friend and Fort Wayne Tin Cap president, Mike Nutter join us. How's it going, Mike? It's going well today. It's awesome to have you here. You look pretty good behind that desk, so I'm not ready to retire yet, but when I am, it's all yours, my friend. Well, I'm glad to be here at Parkview Field today. And You know, Mike has been running this organization for 19 years now? That's exactly right. And uh, before we get into all that, share with us briefly a little bit about your upbringing and how you came to be the president of the Tin Gas. Way back, I was born in uh, Ohio, grew up in a big sports family in Northwest Ohio. And so I graduated from Bowling Green State University, not far from Fort Wayne over in Ohio, with sports management. And here we are 27 seasons into my career. It's taken me from the Chicago suburbs to Brevard County, Florida, Nashville, Tennessee, and 19 seasons in the Summit City. So it's been a great ride, an incredible blessing from God. His plan has always been better than my plan. And, you know, it's not exactly the way I drew it up, and His way is a lot better. So it's just great to be here. Well, in my opinion, the Tin Caps and Parkview Field are what I consider the jewel of the city. But I remember not so far ago when the Wizards were making the move downtown to become the Tin Caps, that was a challenging time. Uh, a lot of people had strong opinions about both the move and the name change. Can you comment a little bit on that? Yeah, it was kind of rough. I mean, it really was. We had a we had a consultant in to help us with the changing of the name, and the guy told us, "Hey, it's going to be rough when you announce it. Hey, this is going to be one of the worst days of your professional career." And I thought, "Wow, you know, I don't, what's this guy know?" And I'm thinking, then I thought, "Well, I hope he knows a lot since we're paying him to to direct us through this." And he was exactly right. People were really, really negative. Uh, the idea of the ballpark at first was really not well received. And then when we decided and announced what the name was, the Tin Caps, an ode to Johnny Appleseed, John Chapman, who's buried a few miles from here, it was rough. It was thousands and thousands of pieces of hate mail, email. So we got through it. But the important thing is, once this ballpark was completed, and we had an open house of March of 2009. The tide turned like that, wow. that day. People came in, it was no longer the walls up around it, it was their facility and their team. Then we won 100 games that first year, we won a championship. Fans remind me all the time we haven't won one since. And it's one of those things that really the momentum shifted that day, Robbie. I remember. And from there, it's been great. It was, was kind of rough. Until we got to that, and then to use your word, it was magical. And here we are 10 years later now, and a lot of awards and things to be proud of. Uh, share just a couple of those things that we've won lately here. You know, one was for the best uh, in the country for charitable involvement. Six of the last seven years, Stadium Journey is named at the best ballpark experience in the country for minor league baseball. I don't like to brag, but you asked, so those are a few things that we're proud of. Well, as uh, the late, great Dizzy Dean once said, it ain't bragging if you've done done it, and the Tin Caps have done it. I thought it'd be kind of fun for you to take us behind the scenes and answer a few questions from left field. Are you up for that? I'm up for it. Let's do it. Let's play ball. Well, Mike, is it common for minor league teams to have such luxurious suites and dining areas like this? Probably not to this level. Uh, it's a special place, the suite level at Parkview Field. There's 16 luxury suites and, a, and an area in the middle for common, uh, you know, for everybody to get together and congregate. It's a really great part of Parkview Field. And what's the deal with the 400 Club? You know, this is one of our great group and hospitality areas. It's a high-end area, granite countertops, all-you-can-eat food, climate control, and an unbelievable view of this great ballpark. Flawless. 
I think everybody is curious what the inside of a ball player clubhouse looks like. The clubhouse is absolutely awesome. And the reality, Robbie, is that this is home for these guys for 70 home games, and they might be here more than they're at their apartment. So what is the deal, Mike, with the bad apple dancers? You know what, minor league baseball is based on quirky and funny things, and that's one of ours that we're known for. So we have a few of our sales guys that go out there and dress up sometimes and dance after the sixth inning every night, drag the field for the players. Everything's about the family-friendly, wholesome entertainment, but also getting some laughs and some water cooler talk, and that's one of our best. Who are some of the stars that have actually come from the system here? I mean, who are the best players? Corey Kluber of the Cleveland Indians has won two of the last four Cy Young Awards. Trey Turner is a young star for the Washington Nationals. Uh, from favorites, one of my all-time favorite guys was a Fort Wayne Wizard, Jake Peavy. He won a Cy Young Award with the Padres. He won a World Series with the Red Sox. Hey, I'm curious, how much do these guys make? I mean, they're single-A ball players. I see the big leaguers with the $30 million contracts. These guys aren't quite making that, are they? They really are not. You know, they're paid by the Major League Affiliates, in our case, the San Diego Padres. And I believe our guys make somewhere around $1,200 a month. Wow, it sounds like those guys don't even make as much as Johnny Tin Cap does. Well, those guys make a little bit more than Johnny, but certainly for the most part, Johnny's more famous than most of our players that have come through <laughs> here. So I gotta ask, what is your least favorite part about this job? Every day people ask them for free tickets. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, speaking of which... Uh, uh, no, well, no chance for you. <laughs> I, not, not for me, I'm thinking about for, for the audience. Uh, might be a good deal for them to get some free tickets. You know what, I agree with that. Why don't we say that anybody that likes and subscribes and comments on this posting that you're doing will be entered into a contest to win. Let's give them four tickets to a Tin Caps game. We can use my seats, they're pretty good seats. Awesome. So if anybody that's watched this goes on there and likes and comments and subscribes to this, Let's give away some tickets. Great deal. Put in the comment below, I love the tin caps. We'll do a little drawing and pick uh, one winner for four tickets. Great deal. I got one last question for you. Um, what are the odds of me making a guest appearance as a bad apple dancer? I mean, you know. I think we've all seen enough. There comes a point in time in our life where people just tell us when something's not going to happen. Oh. I don't think it's going to work out for you, my friend. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, if you like this channel, go ahead and check out some of the other videos from the past, and make sure you enter that contest, and we will see you next time for another installment of Manly Moments.